Hello and welcome to Fox Gaming. Today I am painting Aragon. This is the ninth video in a series of videos where I paint up the entire Fellowship of the Ring. He will be painted to a parade ready standard. Let's begin. The miniature was primed using Mechanicus Standard Grey. You can use another priming if you want. If you do that, you need to base coat his bedroll with Mechanicus Standard Grey. Corvus Black was then used to paint his pants, hair, cloth around his torso and straps on his boots. Caliban Green is next. This is used to paint his coat. When that is done, I use Rhinox Hide to paint his tunic, belt, boots, quiver, bow, and straps on his bedroll. Lead Belcher was then used to paint in his sword and belt clasps. Now it's time to shade the entire model with Nuln Oil, except his face and hands. No worries if you hit these parts though, as they will be painted next. I paint his face and hands using Cadian Flesh Tone. Then I shade his skin using Raekland Flesh Shade. The shade helps to create depth to the miniature. Now we will take him to the next level by highlighting him. I start by using Mechanica Standard Grey for the black and grey areas. the second highlight, I use Dawnstone, selectively picking out a small area within the previous highlights. The hair is not highlighted with this. For highlighting the coat, I use Wog Flesh. Then move over to Strachan Green for the second highlights. The skin was highlighted using Cadian Flesh Tone. His love flesh was then used as a final highlight on the skin areas. The tunic was highlighted using Scrag Brown. All of the other brown areas was highlighted using Gorthor Brown. 
The bow was also painted using this color. I just painted little lines all over the bow to make a wood graining effect. Bane Blade Brown was used as a second highlight on all of the brown areas. The bow was painted in the same way as in the previous step. The lines were applied randomly. This means that they overlap the Gorthor Brown in some places, and other places it overlaps the Rhinox Hide. The sword was highlighted using Iron Breaker. And then a thinner edge highlight using Rune Fang Steel. I would like to point out that if you have some other metal colors, you can use that instead, applying the darkest one first and the lightest one second. Now all that is left is to base the miniature. There are a lot of nice looking bases out there, so take your pick. I have this homemade base ready that I use for this project. I have made a video about it, the link is in the description. I just glue on the basing material using PVA glue and paint the rim of the base black. And put on some green flock. With that, Aragon is done. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more videos like this, this is the last video in the Fellowship Painting Guides, but I will come back with other videos later. See you around!